There are many different styles of concrete pouring buckets on the market, but why does the Rhinox one have a chute? Keep watching to find out. With over 30 years experience in the industry, plus extensive research into pouring concrete accurately and efficiently, we found that having a rounded chute on the concrete pouring bucket is the best design for efficient and accurate pouring. The rounded chute allows you to pour in small or complex places with greater accuracy. For example, pouring into narrow foundations or if you're pouring aggregates around pipes or drainage. You also get more accurate pouring, which means less overspill and less wasted materials. The rounded chute also means that there's nowhere for any of the material to get stuck or wedged in. This especially comes in handy when you come to cleaning the bucket as well as a rounded chute just means that it just needs a quick rinse out while the materials are still wet and before they've set against the side of the steel. Although the bucket is called a concrete pouring bucket, we do recommend that you can use this with other aggregates such as pea shingle or wood chips, which again, the rounded chute just helps with that and stops any of this material getting stuck in the corners or on the way out as well, meaning that you get a nice consistent flow of aggregate. This concrete pouring bucket is also less messy when it actually comes to putting the bucket on the floor to pick up another bucket. The chute is slightly above the level of the bottom of the bucket. This means that any of the last residue in the bottom of the bucket will stay in there and it will stop it from running out and pouring out onto the floor where you've set your bucket down to pick up the next one. Some manufacturers either have the chute in line with the bottom of the bucket or don't have a chute at all. This means that any residue left in the bottom of the bucket, once the bucket is placed on the floor, will likely seep out, leaving a mess behind once you've finished pouring. Whereas the Rhinox bucket, the chute is slightly higher, only a little bit, than the bottom of the bucket. This means that the residue will sit inside the bucket, ready for you to clean. So the biggest factor between having a chute or not having a chute, imagine pouring some water out of a glass or pouring water out of a jug. Obviously, the jug has a nice fine stream, whereas the glass tends to run underneath the glass and just makes a mess. So just imagine this with the concrete pouring bucket. The concrete will be pouring out of the chute in a nice thin stream, giving you that pinpoint accuracy, especially with a skilled operator. Versus not having a chute, the concrete can actually stick to the bottom of the bucket and actually slide down, not pouring where you want it and pouring further back, leaving a mess and wasting material. So hopefully that gives you a bit more of an insight into why we add a chute to our pouring buckets. If you want to know more about Rhinox or the range we offer, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.